Well, let's get back to Gilroy. We've reestablished our signal there with Sarah, talking about how the community is going to be coming together today, uh, Sarah, to honor those that were lost in that mass shooting a few years back. Good morning. Yeah, James, exactly. Before we lost the signal, let's do what I was about to do and take a look at the pictures of the three victims that we'll be honoring today. It is three young, young lives that were lost just way too soon at that 2019 Gilroy Garlic Festival. You can see on your screen from left to right, it's six-year-old Stephen Romero from San Jose, 13-year-old Kayla Salazar from San Jose, and 25-year-old Trevor Irby from Santa Cruz. 19 people were wounded that day, that horrific day when it was supposed to be a day of celebrating at the annual garlic festival, something people really look forward to. But instead, a 19 year old man decided to open fire into the festival's crowd in the days after the entire Bay Area was in shock and grief. Ever since, it's been a time of healing from this unthinkable tragedy. For weeks, you could see investigators at Christmas Hill Park trying to figure out how it all happened and why. You know, we never got a true motive as to why the gunman decided to do such a thing. But at last year's memorial service, the city of Gilroy did honor three police officers for their act of hero work. They really did their best and they ran towards the gunfire. A lot of the, a lot, a lot of people wouldn't do that. And they ran towards the gunfire, preventing more casualties, stopping the gunman from taking more lives. And in today's service, I'm sure we'll hear more about that. Now, unfortunately, the pandemic stopped the festival from happening again in 2020 but that allowed people to further heal. This year, they're doing sort of a drive through effort, that gourmet alley where you get delicious food. And today, it will be a service to remember those three lives lost. That will be with the mayor, some city council members. That happens at 10. It's going to be live streamed online. And you can tune into Cron on our streaming app to check it out for yourself. For now, reporting live in Gilroy, Sarah Stinson, back to you. Thanks so much, Sarah. 635.